So I um, have been going through my YouTube channel, cleaning things up, watching some old videos, realized that over the past couple of years I've had a, a very weird variety of um, less than ideal facial hair. Um, I had been trying to grow out a beard, shaved off that beard and had a mustache. Wife hated the mustache. She wasn't too keen on it, mainly because I look like my dad. Long story short, you have to look at this clean face now. I wanted to sit out of this one, but my God, you're so convincing. I said I want a man I try, but when the well broke down, came a mouth full of lies. I sank my teeth in the king of comics, spit out my lips, and I just want to me. Okay, so I um dropping off a little treat for the Hood Sisters as a subtle thank you for their generosity and time spent on the new logo. My issue is I don't quite remember which house they live in. Hopefully I drop this on the right doorstep. Behind these eyes of mine, even if I stay. Mission accomplished, that's been done. Just a disclaimer, please don't pay your designers in beer. Um, I'll explain a little bit later, but the hoods live right by the beach, so I figured I'd show you guys. Not a bad backyard. Forget the wasted time we made it. The stars are out just in time to see the dark retreating shadows So we made it, this is number two. I have never thought that so early on I would get so much positive feedback. The amount of people that reached out to me on Twitter or in the comments or on Snapchat, uh, just saying that, you know, the things that I'm trying to be transparent with and discussing really resonated um, with a lot of people. Really encouraging for me that, that I'm not the only one that is kind of in this place and that this kind of content and discussion is valuable. Um, so I'm really excited to dig into this. People have already reached out and asked questions. I mean, I really want to incorporate that to a part of um, these videos. My good buddy Brad Rage, who works for Udacity up in the Bay Area, good friends, he's a new dad, um, awesome guy, talented designer, works with my good buddy Ted Boda. But he sent me these, these videos um, and I wanted to kind of try and address them because I think a lot of people are in the same situation. Currently, I'm not in a place where I can pull all-nighters and work on projects just because I'm exhausted. <laughs> you know, the things that work, hopefully there are things that are keeping me challenged, but then outside of work, um, I'm finding some of the other creative outlets uh, that are really helping me stay inspired, uh, challenging me, and helping me, um, you know, keep perspective for myself as a creative, as an individual. Um, but anyways, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts and the thoughts of uh, others out there who are parents and in the creative field. So Brad, uh, these, are, these are great questions. I don't know if I have the right answer. I can speak from my personal perspective. I think part of this is, is really understanding what you need to survive in a day job, also what you need to stay inspired as a creative, because I think the day job can suck us dry. So I think very practically, one of the biggest things um, that I think I learned from my, my, my best friend Ted. I think Ted taught me when we had a, a couple years working at Netflix how to be efficient and not waste time. Google can be seen as this like comfortable place where everyone you know has everything they need, they get good salaries, all these benefits. And if you go to the Google campus on any given day, there's people in their swim trunks playing volleyball at noon. My theory is is that those people are there playing volleyball and then coding till you know t nine or ten o'clock at night? I think there's still an element of being at a cushy big company versus being at like a startup where you're hustling a lot more. Um, but even in any of those contexts, I think understanding how many hours you have in a day and focusing and in, in being intentional on that time is is paramount regardless of your environment. And I think it's easy for us to say that we're busy. But I don't think we're really as busy as we say we are. I think we, we are more distracted than we are busy. For me as a first time parent, as a first time dad, it's resonating more than ever. You know, I, I wanna stay relevant. I wanna stay sharp. As an individual, am I still learning? Am I still inspired? I think those are things that are really important to me. I think the more that you learn, the more that you build stuff, the more you mature. 
And I think there's this always, the, I have this and I think you had mentioned it as well in some videos that that there's this fear of other like big guns and smart young talent coming in. I think that's very valuable, but I think experience is priceless. And so I think the design industry in general is maturing and we're learning how to be managers and be more like business people. I think we have to evolve and become more seasoned and more wise designers, larger than like pixels and aesthetic and trends. I think the more that we can start designing with that larger scope of what it means to be a designer, um, that's how we stay sharp. We don't stay sharp by trying to pick up the new tool and compete with the people below us or the people that we might be managing. I think part of it is the growing pains more or less of maturing as a designer and realizing that we're not always gonna be the person like, you know, pixel hinting and refining things, um, but that we, we will grow up and our, our, our roles will evolve and change. It's probably one of my biggest struggles right now. Like I'm a pretty strong individual contributor. Um, I'm working pretty independently on some projects with some other lead people. Um, it's very empowering and I love what I'm doing. Um, but at a company like Google, I feel, you know, the next step is management and that is the least um, appetizing thing to me. So I'm really trying to figure out, even for myself, I found a good rhythm, I think, and even to do these kind of things um, and maintain that that momentum. Um, but even for myself, I'm not really sure what that next, that next step is. Brad, thanks for the question. I'm glad that you sent it. And uh, for anyone else that has any questions, feel free to send them. Um, Snapchat, Twitter, direct message, email, whatever. Reach out to me. Um, I'd love to keep this dialogue going. And uh, thanks, guys. So listen. I asked the Hoods a favor. They were overly generous. They kick ass, they know me pretty well. I bought them beer and no one should do this. Just a disclaimer, please don't expect this. This is no way how things should work.